So, I put it to you guys, which sport should I focus on next? Now, um, I put to you Aussie rules, American football, or cricket. I had over 500 votes. It's insane. And the majority, with 44%, has gone to Aussie rules. So, that is what I'm going to start learning about. Now, I'm going to keep with the rugby as well. Don't panic. But Aussie rules is going to be the next thing I focus on. And we're going to start today. Now, if you're from Australia, please be here to help me out. Okay. If you don't know much about Aussie rules, then join the fun. Join along. Learn with me. We might have some fun with it. Pixie's here. Let's go. Now, as I enter the world of Aussie rules, uh, I've been told that I should probably watch this video that explains what it actually is. Because the only things I know about Aussie rules is that it's played on an oval pitch and that it's got a rugby shaped ball. Um, so let's give this a watch and we might find, work out what the hell it is. It's got running. Now they're starting to run. It's got kicking. It's got bone on bone hits without pad. <laughs> Straight away, this is Australian. Like, just the commentary, this is Australian. They're absolutely mental. Absolutely mental. I'm interested to find out what the um, those posts were. Because they almost look like rugby posts, but then they had two more. I'm loving it already, just just by the Australian uh, the Australian accent. No, it's not rugby. It's Australian football, although you might hear it called Aussie rules or even footy. This is Australia's biggest sport and is now played professionally by 18 teams in the AFL. It has the fourth highest average attendance of any domestic sports league in the world. The that's a stat. So obviously it's very Australian, but it's 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 obviously getting the numbers. That's quite impressive. These are some serious fans. What do you say we talk oh, basics? Aussie rules is played on a football field probably bigger than any you've ever seen, with an egg-shaped ball that takes some crazy bounces. Each team consists of 18 players on the field and four on the bench. Sorry, 18 players. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's a lot of players. Uh, no, I suppose it is a... They did just say it is a really big pitch. Tremendous athletes. These players are basketball-sized, with the hands and foot speed of an NFL wide receiver and stamina greater than a soccer player. This is interesting. It's a main event in any stadium in the world. The game starts to the pitch. center bounce, a bit like a basketball jump ball. That almost reminds me of um, when I coach football to my kids. Um, sometimes you just want to start a match a little bit different. And if you're doing, say, five on five or four on four, um, you might bounce the ball in the middle, you know, so it's fair, whoever gets it, gets it. Or um, you do it where you put the ball in between two children who are back to back. That's what that reminds me of. But it, yeah, it's similar, similar-ish to basketball, isn't it? The basic object of the game, like American football, is to move the ball down the field and score. Watch the goal all the way! There's so oh, much space. Five. It's huge! Tyre gets it back with it a goal! You can move the ball three ways. Running, but you have to bounce it every 16 yards. I was wondering why they were bouncing it. I thought, why are they bouncing it? Surely that's quite tricky. Using your fist to hit it forward. This is called a handball, another skill unique to Aussie rules. Nice running. Ellis was involved as well. Foster and Stanley. That, that is different. And, drills at home. and of course, the most common way is kicking it. That's a terrific. Like a quarterback using feet instead of hands. These guys can hit a teammate on the run at 50 yards. If the kick is a little high, a player may have to jump and make a spectacular catch. This oh, is called Jesus. a mark. Oh, look at how high he's 
jumping. I can tell you in football that would not be allowed. Jumping on the other guy's shoulders. He's, ba oh, come on. He's basically giving him a step up. Christ. And believe it or not, you can use the opponent as a springboard. That's for insane. You can take a mark, you can keep going, or you can stop on the spot and take an unimpeded kick. Glorious kick. Once in scoring position, the idea is to kick the ball through the two large upright posts. That's a goal and worth four. six points. <laughs> if you hit the post, <laughs> or send it between the big post and the outer lower post, it's worth one point and is called a behind. A final score line might look something like this. So before watching this video, um, I used the Flash Scores phone app and I was looking what's going on, you know, when are these games played? And um, and I saw a team was playing and, and I saw the score and it looked like this and I'm thinking, like, I don't, what, what does it even mean? So it was, I've not seen a score like this in anything. By the way, there's no offside rule. Don't get us wrong, there are positions. Defenders defend. Forwards go forward. And midfielders, yep, play in midfield. This is better from Hawthorne. We know what a good kick he is, but he sets Hill up the line outside. He goes back into Hale. 70 metres out, too far to score. Gives off here to Suckling. Suckling with a low belter. This looks awesome. Players come in all shapes and sizes. The Fremantle Dockers have 5'8", Hayden Ballantyne, 6'3", Nate Fife, and 7-footer Aaron Sandilands. You can tap... Seven... Sorry, seven foot. How, like, how, what is he even like? You can understand the size in 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 basketball because they don't have as much of a distance to cover, I suppose. See, I really want to know what how he plays and what position he plays. You can tackle hard, but not too high or low. It has to be between the shoulders and the knees. There are four quarters of 20 minutes, but like soccer, time is added on for stoppages of play. The extra time can be as much as 10 additional minutes. AFL teams play 22 regular season games. The top eight teams make the playoffs, or as they're called in Australia, the finals. I know other sports do this and other leagues do this. I really don't like this concept of playing a whole season and then you have to play more to decide who wins. Surely the 20, you know, the, the 22 whatever games is enough to decide who wins. Or like in, in the Premier League or in normal football leagues, um, you've got, say, say, say the Premier League, for example, you've got 38 games. It's 20 teams, 38 games. Surely over that period of time, you can work out a winner. I really don't like the, the whole playoff to decide who wins because, say in this example at the moment, Richmond, they could have done really rubbish and just scrape through, but they can have an off day and all of a sudden win the league. And you think, surely the amount of games they play is enough. That's, that's a separate issue. <laughs> Eventually, two teams meet in the championship game or the grand final. It's Australia's Super Bowl and is played every year in the magnificent Melbourne Cricket nice. Ground in front of 90,000 plus. It's a big deal. Just 
questions, check us out at AF. Yeah, I think I will have some questions. I really hope some of my Auss Aussie subscribers will help me out in this in this new journey because it looks absolutely mental and insane and Australian. Is that the right way to put it? It sounds Australian. So let me get this right. Basically, it's similar to football where you've got to kick the ball between the posts. You can you get five points from kicking it through the middle. You get one point for kicking it either side. But it's like it's like rugby where you can tackle. I don't know if that's helped. Me. I don't know if this has helped me watching this or not because it's led just to, to, to more questions. Oh man, I think I'm going to enjoy this. I really am think I'm going to enjoy watching this. Um, so yeah, this is the start of uh, Aussie Rules. Like I said, if you if you if you've not watched Aussie Rules or you don't know about it, stick with me. Hit that subscribe button and and, and follow along with me. Hopefully we'll get some live streams as well. Even though it might be quite early in the morning live stream, so maybe at a weekend at some point. Um, <laughs> this is going to be so fun. Anyway, guys, if you did like um, like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you next time.